G'day. Welcome to Star Portraits. We're in Stormont, home of the Northern Ireland Assembly. And our sitter today has a very special connection with this place. While she was in office here, she achieved her aim in bringing all sides to the table to talk. And that talking resulted in one of the most important peace agreements of our time. Look at this marvellous marbled hall. It's still exactly as it was when it was built in the 1920s. When our sitter was Secretary of State for Northern Ireland here in Stormont, she was instrumental in bringing people together for the Good Friday Agreement. She's had a political career which has spanned some 30 years and is one of Britain's most admired politicians. She is, of course, Dr Mo Molam. Hello, Mo. Good day, Ralph. Nice to meet you. What's it like to be back here? Tell us something about Stormont. It's great to be back. It's wonderful. It's a beautiful building. It represents part of the history of Northern Ireland, and when they get back into talks again, it will represent the future. What is your tie-in with, with art? Are you uh, really keen on art? I like art, but my husband is the link. He's an abstract painter. Hmm. He paints with texture, with colour, and I'm learning a lot from going to exhibitions with him. That's good. What sort of portrait are you hoping for today? I hope they paint a good one of me. <laughs> Anything you don't want to see in the painting? No, they can paint whatever they want. Let's go do it then. Mo Molam took an interest in politics at an early age. She became a Labour MP when she was 38 and earned a reputation for being a bit of a rebel in the Cabinet. While she was at Stormont in the 90s, she really hit the headlines. The Good Friday Agreement was a landmark in the history of Northern Ireland. You know, the people here deserve a better future than a life of bloodshed and murder and disharmony. The Irish people voted overwhelmingly for the agreement, and Mo is still highly regarded by both the Assembly and the people here for her efforts during this significant time. To paint Dr Molam, I've selected three very different artists working in three very different media. It'll be interesting to see how they each choose to capture her distinctive character. Anya Devine works as an art teacher in her local high school in Pennycook, that's in Scotland. She lives in the village of Roslyn, although she grew up on a farm in the south of Ireland. Anya has been painting professionally for 13 years. She prefers working in watercolour and loves to paint strong people, exploring the texture of a face. Let's see how she responds to our sitter. Robbie Stewart lives and works in London, but hails from Perth in Scotland. He's been painting professionally for 11 years, but had many jobs before taking up his palette, including labouring, driving and bar work. Robbie paints in oil on board and describes his style as physical, broad and bold. Rob Beckett lives in Petersfield in Hampshire. He makes his living from his art receiving over 70 commissions a year for portraits, with many clients based in the USA. Much of the work is centred around doing pastel portraits of children, but he also finds time to work in bronze. Rob's going to be using pastels for his portrait of Dr Molam. We'll be finding out more about our artists and what inspires them later, but for now, it's back to Stormont and time for the artists to meet the sitter. They haven't been told who it is yet, but I suspect they'll have a strong idea. How could they not in this imposing location? So, Anya, Rob, Robbie, welcome to Stormont with its wonderful views over Belfast. Mind you, you won't have much time to look at those views because you have only five hours to get your portraits of our sitter started. And then, of course, you've got two weeks in your own studios to finish those portraits. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you a little bit about our sitter. She was born in Watford. And uh, she, she, uh, uh, okay, that's <laughs> yes, and she started her political career at university when she joined the Labour Party. Her most remarkable achievement was carried out right here when she was one of the people who put together the Good Friday Agreement. Do you want to hazard a guess as to who it might be? <laughs> it's Mo. Yes, <laughs> no, Molden, you're right. 
Couldn't be anyone else, could no. it? Shall I bring her in? Great. Yeah, 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 great. Good stuff. Hello. Right. Hey. Hello. It is, Hello. of course, as you guessed, Dr. Mo Molan. Now, this is Hi. Anya. Hi, Anya. Nice Very to good you. to meet you. And Rob. How do you Hi, do? Hi, Rob. Good to see you. And Robbie. Hi. Hi, Rob and Robbie. Nice okay. Right. Good yeah. to meet you all. I guess you're itching to get started. Absolutely. Yeah, I wouldn't mind yeah. it. Would you take a seat? I'd love to. Think? Before we start, Anya is working on watercolour paper which has been soaked and stretched over a board. Rob has got a warm grey pastel paper and Robbie's working on plywood which is covered with a lovely blue-green oil colour. Okay, let's get started. It'll be interesting to see how our three artists depict Mo's features, how they visualise her character. Once I've looked at the person through the frame, I draw the same scale rectangle onto my sketchbook. I draw exactly where the hand is, where the elbow is, where the, the head is in relation to the top of the, the frame. I try and get it exactly right, not just almost right. If I'm not happy with the outline first, then I won't go any further than that, really. Initially, one is creating the composition, so I use charcoal really to do that. I draw the outline, I put in a bit of shading, then I'll start applying some colour. I'm not a big fan of, of preparatory sketching and whatnot. The, the first thing I'll do is make a crude representation, probably in a deep colour, of what I'm looking at. Big strokes, getting everything mapped out. It looks as if you don't know what you're doing. You're just kind of slapping it on and quite energetically laying on the paint. And then it seems to come in, it comes into focus. The artists are keen to talk to Mo to find out a little more about her character. So Mo, what about uh, Stormont? This is an important place for you then. That's many memories, yes. Yeah. Are you happy to be here? Yeah, I'd love to be. Because the thing I miss most about Northern Ireland is the buildings which are beautiful and the people. I didn't want to come back too much because I'm reasonably well known. I was afraid I'd be quoted often, right. which the press would. I didn't want to create problems for other secretaries of state. Oh, yeah. Are going to pay me smiling? Because I am a happy person. Ah. <laughs> and that comes across even with your eyes. You know, now you can... Right. You've got a nice open kind of a look about you. You've got a cheery face in any case. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you not happy, Rob? Oh, I'm all right. It's that look on my face. I always look miserable when I'm painting. <laughs> it's concentration, isn't it? Yeah. Well, when you concentrate, Bobby, you open your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mo, have you got uh, have you got an interest in art? Do you have a collection? Um, we've got a couple of things we've chosen, but my husband paints enormous ones. Yeah. What does he do mainly? Landscapes? Uh, no, abstracts. All right. Lots of texture, lots of colour. Mm -hmm. Have you ever painted? No, I can't paint, can't sing, but I can dance a bit. Everybody's got it somewhere, it's just a matter of getting it out. Right. Well, mine's so tucked away, we can't find it. Well, it's we? in speech, then. It must be in speech. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> now, don't forget, Mo is not allowed to see any of the paintings today. The artists have five hours today to do as much as they can and then another two weeks in their own studios to finish their portraits. And I must say, I can't wait to see how they turn out. Neither can I. <laughs> where, do you, where do you go from here? It's a bit chaotic at this stage. Yeah. And an awful lot of it now is mark making in a quite, as you can see, in quite a, a rough way. Yes. Yeah, it's the only way I can work. If I try and bring it more to bear and whatnot, it becomes, it loses its li the life, you know. When will you bring in that pale blue, the, the blouse? I don't know. I'll, you'll be the first to know. <laughs> <laughs> I like Robbie's work. He can be gutsy and experimental. He cites the paintings of British artist David Bomberg as an inspiration. Bomberg has a fascination with light and form. His painting, In the Hold, a study of men in a ship's hold, fractured into a kaleidoscope of colour, was a real hit with Robbie. 
That's an amazing painting. I saw that in uh, the Tate, um, and I was sat for 20 minutes looking at it. It's got amazing power and energy in it. I mean, I do sort of graphic paintings as well, and acrylics, and I think they have that kind of feel to them. As, you, as you're painting, you're expressing. Several little details can add up to giving you an impression of a person. The subtlest thing can give you a little idea of somebody's personality. Sometimes I've done a portrait where I, I, I feel as if I'm watching it emerge, and I'm curious to see what's going to happen next. That's good with some colour in there. What is it that you like so much about pastels? Um, I think it's the immediacy. It's like you've got all your colours laid out in front of you and can just pick one up and lay one on and, you know... Do you prefer pastels to oils? I think I work a lot quicker in pastels. Um, I mean, they take me about half the time. Yes, of course, with these you've got all the tones of the different colours mm -hmm. as well. Absolutely. Whereas in oils you have you to mix to it with it other colours. Yeah. yeah, it's very versatile. One of the most notable pastel artists was Degas. He turned pastel into a respected medium in its own right. I think one of the reasons I love Dega so much is that he really, he was a real revolutionary. He has this way of overlaying one colour with another in a sort of crisscross fashion, which gives a lot more excitement to the eye than just seeing one tone. No one had used that medium like that before. Rob's established with his art now, but he actually took a big risk at the age of 26 when he abandoned a successful career as a wine merchant to pursue his passion. I suddenly found this new way of thinking, of seeing, and I could never see myself going back to doing anything else. I think I spent my whole life looking at people's faces. You know, you can see so much in someone's face, just looking at their expressions and looking at the way their muscles are moving. With children, you've got this beautiful, soft quality, this, you know, very soft skin. And with adults, the expression is a lot deeper, there's a lot more emotion, there's a lot more to the face in an adult than there is in a child. Is it all right to talk to you at this yeah, point? Yeah, yeah. Because you're it's in fine. a critical moment, aren't you? Getting well, it. yeah, I feel like I'd probably work uh, over the eyes a, a number of times before I'm happy. And, and every line, as you can see, has kind of been drawn quite a few times. Yeah. How so, do you cope with those, say, later on? Would you be able to get rid of that horizontal um, line? I think I could try, but I, I'm not that interested in getting rid of all the lines, okay. really. I think sometimes it can... It can kind of add to the, the feeling of energy of the work. One big influence on Anya is contemporary Scottish artist Jennifer McRae. I, I love the, her painting Man in the Studio. It really inspires me. I, I love to look at it and I can never get enough of it because of the colours that she's used and, and just the way it all comes together. She doesn't seem to have any boundaries for herself in, in painting. I think she just goes for it and goes right in to interpret what she sees. I love using watercolours for, for people's faces. I see a face as being made up of lots of different patches of colour and with watercolour it's very conducive to painting that. I love to paint all the different um, colours and textures around the mouth and the nose and I think it tells a lot about a person's life. I love the differences between the pastels of watercolours and the oil paints but which one will best capture Mo? Right now it's time for a break, shall we? Yeah! <laughs> Following the Good Friday Agreement, a couple of Mo's other achievements here include the creation of a children's playground and she had a politically neutral statue installed. Reconciliation is by artist Josefina de Vasconcelos. I caught up with Mo just before she went back into the sitting. Mo, Hi, well. how was that for you today? <laughs> It was fine. I found all three of them different. They all had a good sense of humour. We had lots of jokes. I, I guess the temptation to stick your head round the corner and look at the pictures is fairly fair. It's very great, and I nearly got in once, but I was stopped <laughs> by somebody who came along. <laughs> so asking for a great deal of self-control, which I'm not sure I have. Oh, I was going to say, which you know you have in abundance. No, I don't. <laughs> what would you look for in a good portrait? Realism. I look for proportion. I look for perspective. I just enjoy looking Good at art. Yeah, yes, that would be necessary. Yeah. I know when I see something if I like it. Yeah. Occasionally I get asked by charities to paint a picture and I paint one and all it is is laughable. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, folks. Thank you very much. 
Dr. Molam is back again, so let's get some more work done. Oh, okay, there we there. go. Yes. Sonia, how long have you been painting? I've been painting now for, I suppose, as long as I can remember, really. I've always loved painting and drawing people. I remember, you know, growing up and always drawing my family kind of as they were laying around or watching What about animals in the family? They never really sat still for long enough. <laughs> <laughs> Probably have you any, had anybody say no to a painter you drew? They didn't want it? No. That's a good no. record, isn't I, it? I, uh, and how much is the most you've ever got for a picture? I once got 1,500 for a four-panel landscape. Which Wonderful. was sold for twice that, but you give half to the gallery, so... Oh, yeah. What about you, Rob? Uh, I've got about 15,000 for a picture. Wow. It's a lot of like money, a isn't it? That was a multiple portrait. Four people in that one. But don't ask me that question, anyway. to believe but the five hours are nearly up the artists are frantically working away in the last few moments that they have with the sitter and then they have just two weeks in their own studios to finish their portraits okay that's it that's it brushes down please pestles down that's it Phew. What are you going to do with all that red paint, Robbie? <laughs> Put it back in its tin. In Put the it back tube. in the tube. Oh. Back in the tube. <laughs> A week later, and it's time to see how the artist's work is developing. This is Pennycook High School near Edinburgh, where Anya teaches art and design. Let's go and find out how she's getting on. G'day, kids. <laughs> well, here she is. What a difference. How's it going? It's going good now. I feel happy with it now. There was a panic for a while. I needed to do a bit more drawing oh. before I came up with, with what I was happy with. What do you have to do next? I'd like to get stuck into the hair, actually, because I feel it looks very flat at the moment. And I'm dying to put a bit of colour into her face and, and especially her eyes. I noticed you're doing a really intricate drawing of the eye there. There was something about her eyes that kind of captured my interest, especially her, the humour that she has in her yeah, eyes. That one, you know? yeah. And here, it's a keener, kind of more academic look, yeah. I think, yeah. Well, it's really lovely. Thanks very much for showing us this. Thank you, pleasure. And good luck yeah. with the next part. Down south now to Petersfield in Hampshire to see how Rob Beckett is faring. OK, so here's my original, yeah. which I did on the day. Wow, how did you get from there to there? That's... I just wanted to alter the composition. I think what that, what that was there was very good for, for note-taking. You know, I've got a lot of the tones and everything that I, that I want to transport into this. Yeah. Very pleased with this new composition. She has a, a, an innocence about her face when in repose, I think. Mm-hmm. Innocence, and I think there I've, I'm managing to capture some of her optimism. The smile is, is nice, isn't it? It's just a, it's not too big, no. aiming a smile. But no. It's very important not to get that, otherwise the expression of the smile takes over rather than the eyes, which are the most crucial element. Mm. Um, I noticed she had quite greenish eyes, but it's actually made up of this very yellow inner and a sort of blue around the outside. You've got some lovely mm -hmm. modelling lines. I hope you're not going to lose those. I don't think I'll lose all of them. I don't think I'll lose all of them. No, because that's just delightful. Thanks for letting us see it half finished. Thank you. To Southwark, just south of the Thames in London, there you go, Rolf. You've got such energy there. Watching that develop on the day, seeing that strength of the purple against that green background was lovely. What do you plan to do next? Uh, I'll develop the, the hand here in his better definition yep. down here, I think. A bit more definition on the face. She looks as if she's looking at you, and none of the photographs that I've got, she is actually yeah. looking at you. Will you be defining these lines with, with any darker colour than that purple, or is that going to be your darkest colour? I think that's, yeah, that'll be a, I never use black. Violet is my black. What do you use as a thinner? Terps. Just terps? You yeah. You don't use yeah. oil or Well, I, no, I keep trying to remind myself to use it, but in the heat of battle, you just go whatever stuff. And, and terps works Using the, it like a watercolour, yes, aren't you? Yes, yes. Yeah. It, it, it makes it smoother flowing, easier to spread. How do you know when you're finished? 
Or don't you know? No, I don't know. I'll be honest and say I don't know. You just got to keep stepping away regularly, but it's amazing how quickly it can emerge. A couple of brush strokes, you go, oh, it's done. Well, don't lose that spontaneity, but I can't wait to see what you do with it eventually. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> A week later, and the paintings are finished. We've come to Dr. Molam's house in Kent to show her the three portraits. She has to choose just one of them. It's a perfect location for the viewing, actually, because this is where the selected painting will finally hang. Will she favour Ornia's distinctive painting with its wonderful layers of subtle colour? Or perhaps Rob's delicate pastel? which really captures the textures of her face. And how will she react to Robbie's gutsy oil painting, which places her firmly in the light at Stormont? Hi, Rolf. <laughs> Good to see you. How are you? Have you got the artists <clears throat> with you? No, they'll be along shortly with their three oh, portraits. Okay. Well, come on in and say hello to my husband. He's also an artist. Fantastic to meet nice you. Nice to see you. Is that one of yours? I, yes, it is. I yes. saw it over my shoulder when I first came in. Can I have a look? Yes, certainly. Not my style of thing at all. I'm very representational. Well, you've never done abstract? No, I, I've always wanted to, but, mm. but you, you don't sort of know how to start. I don't have a feel for it. Right, right. I, yeah, I, it is one of those things. You, you either want to do it, it either comes or it doesn't. You can sit and look at a canvas and think, what on earth am I going to put on here and nothing comes. And other times so it just goes mad. <laughs> now, to the business in hand, where do you want to view these three portraits? Um, what about over here? Would that be all right? That'd be great. Let's yeah, we've there. got space Shall we there. Then? Good. The pictures are in position and the artists have arrived. So any anxiety, sleepless nights? A few late nights, yeah, definitely. Early yeah. yeah. Well, the hardest part is finishing. You know, it's like knowing when to stop. Because yeah. you well. can't really go on and on when it's a two-week period. You, you, do, you do have a cut-off point. Well, that's yeah. Yeah. We're quite good about having yeah, that you, finite time. Is yeah, that you can't, can't yeah, you've got your deadline. And you, you haven't fixed yours at all, so no. it's still just pastel just, spongible. Just, just the chalks, you can just touch it and Spongy lift it off. Boy. Gosh, I would be scared stiff of that. <laughs> well, I'm going to get Mo to come and look at these paintings individually. Now, you need to be out of the room so that I can get her honest opinion of each one. So maybe Mo's husband, John, can show you some of his paintings. Good yeah, idea. Yeah, that's, yeah. Okay. That's okay. Right. Hello. I can't wait to show you these, Mo. I can't wait to see them. There's an oil, <laughs> there's a pastel and a watercolour. Yes. And they're all totally different and all marvellous. I How think you, am I going to choose? Well, you're going to have a really hard, tough decision, I think. OK. Let me show you the first one. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. One, two, three, hop. Wow. Can I look close at it? Yeah, of course. It's incredible. It's got my eyes completely right. And that little bit of a quirky smile on the edge there is just you. It's just me, isn't it? Mm. They've done really well, whoever they are. I think this has to be Anya, because she's got my face perfectly. She's got me. Ready for the next one? Oh, yes. Go on, then. Don't forget, you've got to make a decision at the end of all this. I think that's so good. OK. OK. Here you go. One, two, three. Hoop. Wow. Wow, indeed. <laughs> that is fantastic. Great colours, isn't it? Yeah. And he's got my hand right. Or she's got my hand right, whoever yeah. it is. Yeah. I think my hands look beautiful and hands are difficult, aren't they? Hands are really awkward to paint. I think the colours in the background are very like the Stormont Palace, aren't they? They're incredible. And they the really give the feel of Stormont, mm. don't they? Mm. Goodness knows I'm going to choose between that and this. Ready for the pastel? Mm hmm One, two, three, hop. Oh, oh, I've been told that I mustn't touch it. Which I'm going to now. <laughs> That's incredible. That's got the sensitivity in my face perfectly. A kind of slight smile, talking with my eyes. That's the eyes incredible. are exquisite, aren't they? The eyes are beautiful. I love the hair. Mm, That's hair great. really brilliantly done. That is amazing. You really need to see it from a bit further back, yeah, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, of course. 
Any idea who's done which? With all those colours, that has to be Robbie, because that's kind of Robbie colours. Um, the sensitivity in my eyes there, that has to be on you. So that must be Rob. He's done that very well. I'll go and get the three artists now, so I'll leave you alone to make your final decision I've here. I've got to decide now, yeah, have I? decide oh, which God. one you want to hang in your home. All of them. I want all of one, them. One, one only. <laughs> Right, Mo, it's crunch time. Artist, would you uh, take your places alongside I don't know easels? what I'm going to do. They're all so good. <laughs> I just can't decide. You can see whether you've made the right decisions as to who belongs to each piece I of I did work. guess right, did, didn't I? I did, yeah. So, Mo, is there any feedback you can give the artist before you reveal your decision? I have to say that all three of them are just fantastic. Yours, Robbie, is just so colourful. He's got my wicked smile <laughs> perfectly. Yes. And also the little bits like the indication from the window on the polished floor, that kind of detail, which I think is great. Mm -hmm. I think yours, Rob, is just so beautiful and so sensitive. It gets me right in my face. Mm -hmm. He's got the hands, he's got the mouth, he's got those beautiful eyes he's done. Uh, and on, you know, I think yours does both. It's well painted. And it gets me. It's just such a sensitive picture of me. It gets my lips perfectly, because that's how I look most of the time. I kind of half grin. And I just can't decide between the three. I'm stuck. <laughs> just all well, so you've, good. Uh, you've got to make that decision. You've got to choose one. Can I ask John? <laughs> no, it's got to be your decision. Well, he's very good. He's yeah. very good at yes, this. Yes, he's not you. You've got to make up your mind. OK. I'll do it. You know, if I lived in a bigger house, I'd have to choose Robbie's. But I don't think this house could take the, such a painting because it needs perspective. Mm -hmm. Difficulty between the other two is, though they're in different forms, one watercolour and one pastel, they've both got my sense of self yeah. well. Your decision, though. Mm. I think I'm going to have to go for one year's because it's just got me perfectly. Hey, well done, mate. Congratulations. Well done. What do you think of the decision? Well, I think it was a very difficult decision. I think they're all so brilliant that you couldn't actually made a wrong decision. <laughs> <laughs> very so. lovely, very diplomatic. Oh, that was tough. I think in its own way, each work celebrates the medium that it was done in. And I'm so glad that Moe's found a portrait that will make a lovely addition to their family home. See you next time. I, I, I think it would have worked out badly if I'd tried to constrain my style too much. And, and it, it's caught something about her. She, she did, she appreciated it. With what I've done, I've done my best. And um, it's, I'm very pleased with the result that I've got. Um, so, what come on, do. I'm delighted that she did choose mine and to feel like my, my picture of, of her is going to be hanging in her home. I think that's, that, that's a lovely thought.